separated from smaller walker type UGs. Excelsus means high or lofty. It is also the species name of Apatosaurus, the dinosaur. Apatosaurus? That used to be Brontosaurus, right? It's definitely big enough. But why do they have one? I'm sure they can afford it, but I thought the whole point of Tecumseh was to shift the blame away from World Marshal. It is smokescreen, I think. Part of this op must be to disguise the source of their funding. I know Desperado makes good money, but this is not a thing thugs like that could purchase. I think the purpose is to make this incident seem bigger and more elaborate than it really is. With this, it appears like more than a simple Pakistani border group supporting Desperado. It suggests that ISI is involved, or maybe terrorists from an OPEC nation. It will lead to war, a world war. One with two very distinct sides for a change. Christ, and that asshole Armstrong calls it a war on terror. If the Western nations begin chasing down terrorists, they will respond in kind, just as before. And before long, Western civilians will once again become targets. Can you stop it, Ryan? Don't know, but I gotta try. Boris, who leaked those photos to the internet? I don't know. It may have been under Armstrong's orders. So he never intended to kill Hamilton at all? That's kind of hard to believe. That, or there was change of plans after you killed Sam. Air Force One was not going to land at the base if you were there making mayhem. Perhaps they predicted that after Sam. So they decided to act first. Leaking the data and taking you on with full force. It is possible, at least. <laughs> Course correcting the entire plan just for me? <laughs> what an honor. It is just a theory, but either way, you cannot allow plan to succeed. Copy. Either way, I need to take this thing down. Start by damaging the legs. Just do not get stepped on. Not even you would survive such an impact. You must keep on guard, Raiden. Start by damaging... Just... You must... Raiden, you okay? Yeah. Just wasn't expecting that, that's all. They didn't need to kill Hamilton at all for Tecumseh to work. Fabricating an assassination attempt was all they really needed to do. Yeah, I should have guessed considering the political climate in the US. Ever since the Occupy movement, Wall Street's been manipulating the media. You know, scapegoating foreign interests in order to divert the public's attention. Which played a part in the Patriot memes, just like he was saying. Probably. If being an American's the only thing you've got to be proud of, it's easy to just start blaming non-Americans for all the problems you have to deal with. And it's not just a U.S. thing, either. You've seen how anti-immigration all the First World nations are these days. The whole they-took-our-jobs bit. It's an easy story to swallow. The Patriots spreading their memes worldwide. That's how Armstrong had probably put it. And, just like he said, materialism runs rampant among the financial elite. They see exploiting the poor as a sign of their success. They entered businesses that accomplished nothing for anyone besides themselves. I mean, it's a fact that manufacturing jobs have been drained from first world countries. Immigration or not, that's not the immigrants' fault. It's the fault of the bankers and the financiers. The folks who pressed for globalization so they could pad their quarterly figures. Yeah, pretty obvious if you take a sec to think about it. Well, that's harder than you think, you know. Getting an objective picture of what's really going on? Hmm. Hell of a lot easier to passively accept other people's opinions and standards. Still, the memes that get spread around can be good and bad in equal measures. It's our job to pick the good ones and spread those around a little more. Sure is. But before that... Yeah. Think you can stop him? No matter what. You gotta stop that thing, Raiden. If Armstrong becomes president, he's gonna make the U.S., hell, the whole world, a living nightmare. You gotta stop you. You hear that speech? Hell of a politician. Yeah, it's scary. He's calling this an anti-terror war, saying he's not gonna harm any civilians. Despite the fact that tons have been killed already in so-called wars on terror, besides the terror here is all fake. Yeah. I know it's not exactly unheard of for groups in Pakistan to terrorize the government, but, I mean, this is so ridiculous. Going on this noble quest to to shoot down terrorists and restore faith in america what he said though it works what what do you mean you saw the footage hamilton's fine and still everyone's calling for blood the people have spoken 
They want war. And Armstrong's doing it all for the money. And for his polling numbers. Bastard will do whatever it takes to get the public on his side. I kill him, and I don't know. Then what? What's it gonna change? If the world's gonna do its own thing, either way, what's the... Write it. Get a hold of yourself. Just because people want war, that makes it okay to start one purely for profit? For some twisted sense of pride? No. And let's not forget, he's trying to kill you. Look, just... How about I save your data while you get your head together? I'm fine, Courtney. Just gotta stop him. I'll think about the rest of this afterward. Okay. Just make sure you come back in one piece, all right? Guess you were right, Courtney. Only choice I have here is to stop him. Good luck. Want to save your data first? Are you sure? Just send me a codec if you change your mind, all right? My, my. A Metal Gear Excelsis. I know I've heard that name before. Indeed. It made the news several times during development. A lot of people thought they'd have a hard time finding a buyer. It's enormous. One of the first large-scale, multi-legged tanks AT Corp has made in some time. UGs have grown smaller and smaller, but this is certainly a 180-degree change of direction. So why do it? The advance of artificial musculature is one reason miniaturization has grown so rapidly. But another is the shift from nuclear deterrence to asymmetrical warfare. Deploying such a large unit for guerrilla or urban warfare would be uh, overkill. So collateral damage alone would be stupendous. Once cyborg tech began to advance, though, small-scale UGs were no longer so effective. Against an adversary of the same size, a cyborg with human-level decision-making skills, well, it will always have the advantage. So, as the theory goes, why not make UGs giant again? Overwhelm the cyborg with sheer firepower. That was the idea that led to Excelsis. Like you said, overkill. But it's still no good in urban combat, right? Correct. Assuming you weren't intending to raise the urban area in the process anyway. Wh what do you mean? Well, a Gecko-class UG is too large for many parts of city areas. But also too small to simply trample any buildings and such standing in its way. But this magnificent beast, it could smash whole houses without even breaking stride. And what? It's just sorry, but fuck you, civilians? I mean, even if they were just knocking down houses, the media'd have a field day. I sincerely doubt they care. If a US soldier dies in combat, it's nationwide front page news. If civilians in wherever Stan are killed in an airstrike, nobody gives a second thought. <sighs> But you know, they talk about the deterrent effect of this UG. About it striking fear in people's hearts. If there is a UG airstrike, you don't have any time to flee. But if this behemoth was lumbering your way... You'd run. Anyone would. Except trained gorillas. Precisely. Thus, the UG would only be fighting against actual combatants. With a manned ground unit like that, there's a lesser chance of erroneous strikes. Plus, the legs make navigating rugged terrain a veritable walk in the park. And it would take much more than a rocket launcher to take it down. The crew couldn't be safer. Is there really that much demand, though? Ah, that is the question, yes. Of course, we would seem to have our answer now. If things go the way Armstrong wants them to, before too long, we could see whole herds of Excelsi trampling across Pakistan's Sparta. Multi-leg Metal Gears are quite a difficult battle. The legs give it a wider defense range, you know. So first, destroy the armor on the legs. Then, cut them off once the legs are exposed. Needless to say, getting stomped on would be extremely painful. Beware the legs and front arms. Multi-leg Metal Gear so neat. Raiden! Are you okay? That's a pretty crazy Metal Gear. Kind of a far cry from your Mark II and III, huh, Sonny? In the end, nothing ever changes. Science always ends up being used for war. No, it's like any weapon. It's only a tool. It's all up to who wields it. Not everyone has their own selfish agenda. Some people like you are making a difference for the better. If only I could believe that. Cheer up, Sonny. You have the power to bring hope to a lot of people. Yeah.
You're right. Raiden! Are you okay? That's a pretty Kinda, pin. No, not a if cheer. Yeah. Allow me to die, Jack. <laughs> 